Hello, I'm Renault from More Mountains and welcome to this tutorial where I'm gonna try to cover uh, how to create moving platforms uh, using the Koki engine. Um, so first of all maybe I'll show you uh, what we are uh, gonna do. So let's load uh, this new scene which is called Features Platform and um, which will present you uh, all the features uh, in terms of platforms and uh, surface modifiers and stuff that are included in uh, the new version 2.1 of the Kogi engine. So um, right now I'm in, in scene view um, and uh, if we look at uh, here you see that we have this new uh, moving platform system so this one is moving in a circle, this one is um, moving horizontally and these ones uh, if I step on it uh, will move in quite different ways um, all this will be available um, in the demo uh, so you'll be able to uh, give it a try and of course it's in the asset um, so right now we're gonna start from from scratch so I'm just gonna load uh, the minimal level scene and um, here we are. So um, if I press play, you'll see that uh, it's extremely basic. We have we our, our small uh, rectangle character. This is uh, the most uh, simple scene you can load. Um, so let's let's create a moving platform. Um, so let's say I'm. Of course, I I, I could start uh, by just uh, dragging a, a prefab. Uh, of a moving platform, but um, that's that's not fun. So uh, let's start from scratch. And um, to do that, I'm gonna just um, take a, a sprite. Um, it can be really anything you want. It can be even uh, you can have moving prefabs. You can have uh, stuff more complex. Maybe we'll uh, get over that. So I just have a sprite. I'm gonna add a box collider 2D to it. Don't change anything, and like that, I'm gonna add a rigid body 2D and say it's kinematic because um, our script is gonna make it move. And I'm gonna add a path movement component, um, and that's it. Basically, that's all we need. Um, I'm gonna move it so uh, I can climb on it. So that should be fine. And now it's uh, up to us to define what we want our moving platform to do. Um, so, as you can see, I've uh, kind of improved on the inspector. I'm gonna replicate that to all um, the other classes uh, over time. The idea is uh, now you can more easily, you don't have to go to the documentation back and forth. Uh, everything you need to know about a component will be in the inspector. Um, so back to our moving platform. Uh, the main idea is that you have to define a path. Uh, a path is a, a set of points uh, that your platform will go through. Um, so let's say this one will have um, three, um, three path items, uh, three points. So as you can see I just um, typed uh, three in the size of the path, which is an array. And it created this weird uh, green thing. So now, if I just um, manage to uh, drag and drop the green thing, there, you have to be um, kind of uh, accurate because if you uh, select a moving handle, uh, you move the whole thing. Okay. So uh, now I have my three points, and if I just press play you'll see that uh, the platform is actually moving and going. If I go to scene view, it's going f from one point to the other. Um, and that's it, I have a moving platform. But if I if I try to step on that moving platform, uh, you'll see I just go through it. And that's because we haven't set um, its layer yet. So I just select the platform and uh, here in the layer drop down I just select moving platforms. I also want to change the sorting layer 
uh, right now it's rendering just fine, but um, it might uh, be better if I just select platforms. Um, and now if I press play again, you will see that and if I manage to get over there, I'm now moving on my moving platform. I can look down, look up. Oh, and uh, I've added a, a small dangling animation if you go to uh, the edge of a platform. All right, um, that's all uh, really cool. Um, what else can I do? Oh yeah, I can decide that the path is looping or not. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna do these changes at, at runtime so uh, you'll see what it does. I'm also gonna increase the speed uh, to something faster. So let's say 15. So right now uh, the path is not looping. Um, as you can see, it, it kind of broke the link between uh, the zero point and the number two. Um, if I make it loop again, you'll see that now, magic, it's looping. Um, I can also, you know, change uh, the position of, pa of the path uh, at runtime, which is kind of useful. Maybe you want a switch somewhere that uh, if you activate the switch, this point will go over there. Um, of course, you can also uh, change the speed. We've already seen that. Um, you can also change uh, the movement type. So um, I'm not sure it's obvious, but yeah, right now um, I, I've set it to ease out. Um, and as you can see, the, the speed is not uh, constant anymore. If I go back to constant speed, I have something that's not lurked at all. It's just regular constant speed. Um, I can decide that uh, the platform will only move if the player is on it. So uh, as you can see the platform has stopped and if I step on it, now it's moving. Um, what else can we do? Um, oh yeah, we can decide uh, to set a delay. So um, to do that I just have to uh, create an array, so I'll, I'll say free, and that's that has to match, of course, uh, the number of points I have. So uh, let's say I want it to stop for two seconds when it hits uh, zero. I just put two. And as you can see now, every time uh, it reaches the zero point, it waits for two seconds. And uh, I can do the same for the other ones. So now it's waiting for one second at one and two, and two seconds at zero. And, you know, it just works. Um, I've also um, greatly improved uh, the way uh, your character now sticks to the platform, uh, whatever the speed of the platform, whatever its movement. So let's say, uh, and uh, I'm sorry for what will happen, but uh, it's going to be pretty shaky, but uh, if I change the speed to 50 and remove uh, the wait time, you can see that I have a very, very shaky um, platform, <laughs> but uh, my character st stays on it. And um, if I just uh, go back to scene view and click Shift F and maybe zoom in, you can see that the character is perfectly uh, in place and uh, that's that's kind of uh, aggressive uh, <laughs> right now. Okay, um, what else can you do? Uh, you can decide that uh, your, your platform is now a moving um, one-way platform, uh, which means that you'll be able to um, jump on it from underneath it uh, or maybe jump off uh, of it. So um, let's see. I just changed uh, its layer, so now I can step on it from underneath, uh, like you would any one-way platform. And I, if I press down and jump, I'll just step on it. Um, so that's that's just the matter of changing the layer here. Um, what else do we have? Oh yeah, um, you can you can also uh, have any number of points. You want uh, so let's let's up that to six. Um, all it does is create these these little handy handles uh, that you just have to uh, to drag them 
and uh, you, you can create complex patterns uh, you can create that it's not uh, invoke a demon here but um, you can have random star patterns like that you can have whatever you want really um, and if I go back to the scene view you'll see that it just works all right um, that that covers pretty much everything you need to know about uh, moving platforms in the latest version of the Kogi engine I hope you like them and uh, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with see you